everyone. Um, I'm just doing an unboxing. I have actually opened these already, but I thought that I'd show you guys. Um, I just couldn't wait when they arrived, basically. I need to be more patient. <laughs> but these arrived this morning, um, and I opened them straight away. But I thought I would show you what I've got. So this first package I got from Made by Lucy. I'm going to show you what I've got from her. So, I've got from her um, a new acrylic brush. So, I'm looking forward to trying this out. This is a size 12. I have got one size 12 brush already. Um, this is the size 12 I've got from her. I'm just going to, this is pinched as well. So, here we go. I'm just gonna hold my other size 12 next to it because I think this actually looks smaller. So this is the other size 12 brush that I've got. Um, so yeah, it's a bit smaller, a bit thinner, but I'm looking forward to giving it a go. So this is fresh out of the packet as well, so I've not prepped it yet, so I'm not gonna um, do that um now because i'm going to go to bed in a minute so i don't want to do that right before i go to bed i'll probably do it before i use it um but yeah so that's the new brush it's got actually quite a short handle like i was expecting it to be a bit longer but it's not a problem it doesn't affect the way i use it um yeah so that's the brush And when you order it, it comes in one of these protective tubes as well. So we've got one of those. Um, I think that she starts at a size 8 and then I think she goes up to a 14 or a 16 um, on those brushes. So, um, yeah, um, I think the price is very slightly. I think that size 12, I think it's about £17. Um, so, yeah, I've got some other bits in here. Um and in here as well actually so i want to show you what sort of charms and things i've got so okay these i'm excited about actually these are the so as most of you will know swarovski are no longer supplying the now industry so eventually there will be no swarovski for now technicians to buy so these are lucy's own um crystal skulls and they're so shiny. So I've wanted to get skulls for ages, so I'm really looking forward to using these in a set. So that's those. Uh, how many is in here? Mm, I'm not sure how many is in here. Maybe like 30 or something. So that's those. And then I've got some little magnetic flowers. So they're like the pom-poms where the magnet is on the back there and it's curved. So I've got some flowers and then I've got oh I ordered these because I thought these look cute um she does have them in red as well but I don't know if you see them through the packet they're like little like little acrylic bows with little pearls on them so I got some of those um and yeah she does do them in red as well but I didn't get red ones um and then yeah I've got some pom-poms so I've got some orange um got some more white ones um i've got some pink ones there's two there they just end up sticking together pink this mustard yellow i'm literally like obsessed with this mustard yellow color and these khaki ones like how nice actually the lighting and and on the in my room in this video is making this look um this yellow look a lot brighter than it is it is like a proper like mustard yellow it's not as vibrant as the as the camera is making it look but yeah so that's those colors and then i also got these are new on her site i think um so they go on exactly the same way as the flowers and the pom-poms these are like little bows um you've got the magnet on the back there 
excuse my nails, they're chipped. I've been really rough with them, so I need to take them off and do them again. Um, but yeah, so I've got some different colour bows. I've got pink, uh, baby blue, this kind of dusty pink colour, and like a navy blue. There are more colours. These are just the ones that I ordered. I think there's like grey and red and stuff like that as well. So that's those. I love that she always puts a little thank you note in as well. That's really sweet. So that's those. And I also got <laughs> um, a finger, a nail art finger. Um, and Lucy said this the other day on her Instagram and I couldn't agree more. Um, so as you guys might know, I already have this uh, silicon hand, which I got from Glamourlis. Um, I've gone on about this hand before. Um, I do want a new one, like one that's poseable because this one doesn't like pose um, the fingers. But you can get ones where they've like got wire in them and you can pose the hands and stuff. I would like one that has like the thumb as well. Um, and yeah, that's got the uh, things. This is knackered from where I was gluing it before. Um, but yeah, so you can take the nails in and out. So I got one of these. Um, but yeah, so Lisa was saying the other day that she wouldn't call this a practice hand. I wouldn't call this a practice hand either. Whenever I refer to this hand, I call it um, my silicon hand. I try not to call it a practice hand because I think if you are starting out, this is what Lucy said and I couldn't agree more, if you are starting out and you need to practice doing nails, you need to work on something a bit more sturdy, like the ugly hands that have the like clicking nails. Like They're not very nice looking photos, but they're better to work on for stuff like filing and things like that. This is knackered that's that's how this hand is knackered because I was gluing the tips down the tips that you put in these I was gluing those I was putting them in gluing them down and filing so that I would have a more sturdy hold while filing on this hand however because it's like still moving around even though I was soaking off and everything else it's still kind of like ruined the silicon like it feels kind of crusty you can see it's got these little holes and stuff in it so um, yeah, just in terms of like doing practice, um, these are not good for practice. These are better if you're already quite okay at doing nails, or if you want to do nails on that when you haven't got clients and you want to showcase work and stuff. So that's why I use this hand because I use it in my videos. It's quite realistic looking, and then for photos, it's it's nice looking. Um, for that realistic effect so Lucy's selling these fingers like nail art fingers <laughs> it feels so weird to touch it's a little bit softer um than my glamour is silicone but um I think this was 16 pounds so um a good price a good bargain and it has got that like canal that you can take the tip out um and slot it in so I thought I'd get myself one of these just to like, you know, if I just want to sh do a quick video or um, something like that to, you know, just do one single nail of nail art. So I got one of those and she's included some spare tips for me, which is nice. I think, you know, if you did run out of these, it would be really easy to replace these. Like you can just get like full cover um, nails to, to slot in them. So. So yeah, I got myself one of those, so I'm looking forward to using that. So that's what I got from Nailed by Lucy. She is killing it with the nail products at the moment. She just seems to be stuck in like everything that I think like, you know, like you see all the American nail techs and you're like, oh, they've got all the cool stuff. Lucy, I think is like stuck in all the stuff that's like really hard to get from nail art supplies in the UK so that's quite nice and she just seems to be like constantly bringing out new stuff I can't keep up and she's making me a poor lady um but anyway so moving on I bought so I've already opened this because I couldn't wait but I bought this nail art planner from Amoki Nails um I saw a post like someone shared it like a competition to win one of these and I did enter the competition but you know it's like you get so many people entering the competitions like I'm doing my own competition which I will leave a link for at the end so I hope that you do enter but I entered the competition and I thought mm, I might not win and I don't want to wait either to find out um so I went ahead and bought one of these and this was hang on I'm just checking my receipt so it was 19.95 and I paid £5.50 delivery. I think if you order some more bits on the website, 
um, I think you can get uh, maybe cheaper delivery or free delivery, I can't remember. Um, but I only wanted to buy this, so. Um, and I saw some pictures of it and I thought, I'm willing to pay for it. I know some people might think that 20 pounds is a lot of money um, for something like this, and some of you might not. So I'm gonna open it and you guys can see what you think. So you open it up, it's got like a nice little welcome bit. Um, I haven't actually looked too much through this myself yet either, so I've, if I miss anything, because I'm just going to flick through, then I'm sorry. But um, yeah, so it's got some nice information here on colours. Because um, I don't know about you guys, but like when I am doing now now like designs, I tend to like just make them up as I go along, and sometimes like that means that sometimes it goes well. Don't get me wrong, but other times, I think. I wish I'd done this differently. Like this set, for example, I have uploaded a photo of these and a video, but in the video, like I've said, I weren't happy with the way these come out. Like the lilac, I think is too pale. I wish that I'd use more of this darker purple. I wish that I'd done the lines of these drips with um, actual crystals or used a glue to hold them down. Cause you can see they're not quite perfectly straight. And I know to some people you might think, oh, that's like pernickety or whatever. But when it is your own work, you pick it apart and you think, oh, God, it looks crap. Um, but I uploaded them anyway just because. But because I made this up as I went along, I feel like it didn't come out as well as it could have. So that's the reason why I bought this was because I thought, well, I can plan the design. So um, there's some tips here about uh, taking pictures, hand poses, design tips. So... I'm yet to, yeah, so you can list your favourite um, social media accounts. I didn't know that was in there, so that's quite cool. Because as well, like, I follow loads of people and I think, like, oh, I really like them. They're one of my favourite now texts. But then someone new comes up and I think, oh, I really like them. And then sometimes I forget about people, not in a horrible way, but, you know, like, social media is so, like, oversaturated. Um, oh, my God, look at my fake tan. Ooh, <laughs> sorry, guys. I've been using fake tan because all the sun bed shops are closed. Um, but yeah, so I think that's good that you can like list your favourite social media accounts. There's quite a few pages there. Product wish list, I think that's quite cool as well because again, like there's so many now products that I think sometimes I look at stuff and I think, oh, I can't afford that this month or whatever, and then it goes to the back of my mind and then I don't, I forget about it for a while. So that's quite good that that's in there. I think <laughs> obviously it's massive. I love that. Um, education wish list that is also another really cool one there's definitely some classes that I want to do so dates educator course that's cool competition goals do you know what I've never entered a nail competition like I'm way too like nervous to do it I do need to I need to like push myself out of my com comfort zone I'm only really used to just doing nails I'm like paying clients and then taking photos and putting them on, or putting them on Instagram. I've never um, done it, done like a competition. Like the thought scares me. God, my nails look awful. Guys, I'm really sorry. Please don't come at me for like the state of my nails or my fake tan. Like, oh, we're all just having such a crap time in lockdown, aren't we? Um, so yeah, this is the bit that I'm like, this is the bit that I was like, yes, this is cool. Because as you can see, like the, the hands, this is where you like plan out your design. So you could like draw, I don't want to do it now in this video because I don't want to ruin it, but you can like draw like short nails or you could draw like long coffin or stiletto or like literally you can just put whatever shape you want and then design, plan your design on top. So this is what I'm hoping will help me um with my future nail art designs and i think i'm gonna carry this around with me in my bag because you know when you like sometimes you think of stuff when you're not at home like when you're out and about so i think i'm gonna carry it around with me in case i i don't know in case i think of something like you know as i'm parking my car to do the shopping or something like that so so yeah we've got those pages and i think that's pretty much most of the pages throughout the rest of this book i do like that they're keeping it fun with the different prints. Imagination is your only limitation. That's cute, nice little inspirational quotes. So yeah, I think, how much of that is there? Okay, here we go. So yeah, there's loads of those pages. I don't know how many there is, is exactly, I might say on the, on the website. But um, art should 
Comfort the disturbed and disturb the comfortable. I love that. Love Banksy. Um, doodles and measles. I don't really know what I would actually put in this bit, but I guess you could put whatever you want. Let's put whatever you want there. Maybe like write your prices down or something. Cool. And then some QR codes at the back. Show your designs. So yeah, this is the first time that I've actually like properly flipped through this. So I'm really happy that I bought that. I think the quality is like really nice. Um, yeah, I think for 20 quid, for someone like me anyway, that definitely recognises they need to like plan out designs. Got a nice little ribbon marker there. For someone that needs to like plan out their uh, nail art designs a bit more rather than just wing it constantly, I think this is worth it. So um, if anyone else has bought one of these, let me know. Or if does anyone else plan out their designs? I know some people just like sketch them out on rough bits of paper, but I don't even do that. Um, I'm literally just like, oh, I'm going to do a set of nails. And then I come in my nail room and I'm like, mm, I fancy doing pink today or blue or whatever. And then I either end up with something really awesome or something that's kind of okay but could be better like these um but yeah stuff on my nail desk um but yeah so um i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i know it's a bit like short and sweet um but yeah let me know like have you bought any products from from the places that i've i've bought from what do you think do you like them um, and yeah, maybe I will upload another video soon, I hope. And I will leave a link again for my competition um, at the end if you haven't entered yet. Um, it's to win over £100 worth of nail art products. Um, it won't be any of these things because I've bought the prize for that competition ages ago. But I will leave the link to enter that competition. There is some really, really good stuff in there, including Swarovski Crystals nail art brushes um, and stuff from the gel bottle. Um, so yeah, make sure you enter that competition and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!